everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah presents me, Deborah, with the Saturday vloggy thing. What's been going on? What's going to be going on? And uh, what's up with the hat today? Well, the hat today is a bad hair day. Need to wash the hair, and it's just not happening because I'm actually on a lunch break from work. Yes, overtime is the name of the game. So, that's what we're doing. I uh, did have other things go on this week in the life category. Went to the doctors, found out, I know you have seen my hands are awful because I scratch uh, eczema, eczema, and psoriasis. Yes. So add those to the laundry list of things that's wrong with me. Yay. Aging is not for the weak. Okay. Just let me tell you. Anyway. With that said, I have been still doing a lot of crocheting, even though I'm working long hours on my lunch break, I crochet and on, um, oh, we got some hair sticking out there. And after work, uh, we did do dinner and I kind of watch TV while crocheting projects that are easy to do. Okay. Speaking of, I want to show some finished objects because I actually have some. Look guys, I finally finished the other fingerless gloves. Remember I did one and then I did another and they turned out to be two different sizes. Well, now I have two that are, you know, Mongo to fit my hands. I love this yarn. Oh my gosh. This is the Red Heart Unforgettable in Dragonfly. I love this color. I have a divine hat to match it already. Love it. And I also have a smaller set, which I evidently did not bring in here with me, but that's okay. They are complete as well. So I'll be gifting those. Um, this here is all I have left out of two balls of Unforgettable. And I will do something with it because this yarn is just too beautiful to waste. But let me tell you, it's a bugger to frog. Yo. Yeah, absolutely. You don't want to frog that stuff. I have another finished object, which you may have seen if you saw... Uh, I posted it on Facebook and I posted it on Instagram. I don't remember if I put it in my community post or not. A very big, very chunky, slouchy hat with like the biggest pom-pom you've ever seen. I literally used every single bit of this yarn. This is, okay, of a scanny, scanny, because I still have one of these. Uh, Woolies Thick and Quick is the blue and gray variegated in here. It's a six weight, super bulky because it is, and this is quite the hat, and it actually, it fits me, so <laughs> I got a big old head. Um, and it uses a nine millimeter hook. I think that's what I used for this, or maybe I used a slightly smaller one. I was following a tutorial by Crystal Bag a Day, and I don't remember which one it is right this minute, but she used a, a natural color changing yard, and what I did, I just carried my colors up. I had a light blue in the hometown. I don't remember the name of the color. And if I can figure it, there's the thing. Yeah, I just carried it up. Because I didn't want to cut and weave in every end on the bleeping planet, okay? And then I took the rest of what I had from those two balls and it became the pom-pom of doom. But it is kind of slouchy. I mean, it's kind of heavy, but it's very warm. So with the weather that's coming this weekend, maybe this will get some wear. Because, yeah, there is weather coming this week. Oh, yes. I am in Northeast Georgia. But I'm right in the line of, could just be a little rain. Could be absolutely nothing. Could be six inches of snow. Could be three inches of ice. It's a crapshoot. We don't know. Yay. <laughs> I know the people to the north of the higher elevations, they're getting snow. Straight up. Um... People more to the east and the south, not so much. We are right in that stinking line. So updates will come, I'm sure. Um, I have another object. Oh, and stick around to the end of the video. There's going to be a little, a thing. There's going to be a thing. So make sure you pay attention to the end. I have got this blanket that I took with me to the doctor's office because you always have to wait, right? Turned out I didn't have to wait that long, but I still got some done. Look at, I love this, okay? This is just a corner to corner, gonna be a blanket eventually, and it's in the mandala, and it is the color unicorn. I just love it. it it's an easy, it, it's a TV crochet, what it is. You can sit there, you don't have to pay much attention to it, you just crochet. 
and it's easy to do. So that is going on, and of course it's still attached. And yes, this is what, oh gosh, don't knock everything down. This is what I have left so far out of my second cake of this mandala. And I have plenty more of these. Sale shopping, yes, I've had it for a while. It just had to wait to tell me what it wanted to be. And it did, and it's becoming. I mean, not like Michelle Obama's book, Becoming, but it, it's becoming what it wants to be. I do have something else that is, it's a whip that gets added to every single day. This is the start of my temperature blanket, okay? And what I'm doing is, what? Every day gets a little square. Now, there are some of these other squares that are not days with temperatures. This is 22 for the year 2022. Don't laugh at my top stitching. First time trying it. This is one for January. And each one of these is a day in January so far. I am up to date with it. I have not added yesterday's because like I said, I'm on a break from, from work at work right now from lunch. Yeah, something like that. The center color is the low. The outer color is the high. So, and that's just for this month. There will be a lot more darker colors in there as it gets warmer, but I like the way it's turning out so far. And by the way, the width of this will be 19 squares, plus there will be a border afterwards probably. And then I, you know, continue it around. The length will be 20. So it's gonna be plenty big, but it's not gonna be an overwhelmingly ginormous blanket when it's done. This is done in a DK, almost all of the yarns, are the uh, Hobby Amigo yarns in a DK. So that's what I did when I had my hobby haul. That's why I got it, was to do this project. I actually bought yarns for a project instead of yarns for just to let them tell me. So that's different. And how I'm keeping up with this, by the way, I've got my crochet planner in the other room and that's how I drew it out. I graphed it, I mathed it, I did the whole thing. But in here, this was a sample that I had made for myself just to see what I was going to do. These are my colors. Ta-da! With temperature ranges next to them. And those temperature ranges are in Celsius and Fahrenheit. And every day I'm writing down the temperature, the low and the high in Fahrenheit and I get the, I figure up the Celsius and I'm looking at them every day and I'm trying to remember and learn and I've started adding my color numbers here. I numbered these one through seven Excuse me one through nine. I can't even count today So that I know on this day it's colors two and four for low and high respectively So that helps me to do this because a lot of times I'm looking up the temps on break and then working on it at lunch there's always multitasking going on. There's something in this box. There is. But we're not going to talk about it yet. Okay, I want to put this one aside. Oh, Oscar just made his presence known in here. And you might see this Halloween bag back here. It's just the one that I'm using. Because this is part of a year-long crochet along. Yep. Judy at Witch Peace Crafts is doing the hashtag rock 2022 AU make along and every two weeks her husband and her son I believe are pulling an album out of their collection and we're to be inspired by that album. I've decided to mostly do inspired by the cover art on the albums and I'm going to be learning about some great bands in the process. Now this person band I already knew. This was inspired by Pink and the album Fun House. And I'm labeling it so that I can put them together later. This is going to be a stained glass blanket or inspired by it anyway. I'm not following the pattern exactly. I'm making them a little bit smaller because there'll be the 24 or 26 squares. It's gonna be big. But there's a lot of the gold, browns, and a couple of different shades of pink and everything on that um, album cover. So that's what I did, just a little corner to corner. This week's is, uh, she just released it. It's a band that I had never heard of, but she talked a little bit about the band and it's gonna be interesting to learn something about them. They're, they're an Australia band, Australian band because Australia Day is coming up. So she told them, pick something in honor of Australia Day. She figured they'd come back with ACDC because everybody knows ACDC is, you know, they're an Australian band, but that's not what they came up with. 
No, they came up with another band that I will talk about later when I learn a little bit more about it because it was like, whoa, that's cool. The cover's cool too. It's going to be some neat colors in there. So that will get worked on in the next, within the next two weeks, it will be complete. Got that, got that. What else is being worked on? Oh, I was making that hot pad. I had to frog it. The, something was wrong with the count or something. I'm going to have to start it over and do that again. Uh, coming up soon, there will be a flip through of that magazine that I picked up in my haul yesterday. And so that will come up and go out. Yay. I'm looking forward to that because I just glanced at it. And I was like, oh, there's some cool stuff in here, including that hot pad, which I got from the Annie's calendar. Hmm. We're duplicating things. Oh, no. Anywho, yeah, if you haven't checked out my little hauls, I've had too many hauls this week, so please check them out because, you know, shopping is fun. If you notice my shirt here with my little skulls on it, I love the skulls and stuff. That's just me. And this came from, I think I showed it, a Beals or Bells haul from several weeks ago. Um, it's just a comfy shirt because I work from home. I could wear t-shirts and sweats, which is what I'm wearing right now. Hello, nobody sees me but y'all. I mean, really, let's, you know, get on with that. Um, yeah, follow my community tab because you never know what I'm going to post in there. And this box. This is a San Antonio shoes box, okay, from a pair of my shoes. So, you know, it's a large box. Yeah. And what's in here are ball bands. Lots and lots of ball bands. This is... Every ball band that I used up through the end of the year. Now, mind you, I didn't start crocheting until the very end of January last year. And, you know, I work full time and I crochet every moment that I can. But I would like to, I was going to count yardage. And then I figured, A, in my poll, that wasn't what was wanted. Everybody wanted, you know, the number of ball bands. And then I figured, you know what? That'd be a lot of work to add up all that yardage or meterage anyway. Yeah, saved me some work. Whoa, it's hard enough just to sort these out and count them. They are counted. I have got the total in this box. And guess what? There's a giveaway. That's right. This giveaway is going to be, hmm, either a gift card, or some yarny stuff. If you are out of the country, it will definitely be a gift card. Let's save me some postage this time, okay? If you are in the country, you will have your choice of gift card or yarny stuff. The gift card value is going to be, it's not much, it's a little bit of giveaway, okay? Uh, $15, that's keen say, 15, not 50, 15. And for yarn, we will discuss it if you want some yarn. It's going to be something from, and I've got a bunch of yarn all around here that you can't see. We'll talk about what you can have, what you're allergic to, what your favorite colors are, and I'll find you something to use. Okay. What I want to know is I need the closest or the exact without going over the number of ball bands that I used last year. Oh, that's going to be tough. Okay. Um, if there are multiple people with the same answer, y'all will go on the spinny wheelie thingy and we'll see who wins. Okay. Now, in order to be eligible, you must be subscribed to this little channel right here. You must be publicly subscribed so that I can see that you're subscribed. Because if I, if I can't see that you're subscribed, then... Uh, we're lost. I, I don't know if you're subscribed or not. Okay. Um, so yeah, publicly subscribed. Give me a guess. And please make sure that you have commented on at least one other video of mine that does not have a giveaway in it. Not that hard. I put out a lot of stuff. Speaking of what I put out, I have got Book Look on Sundays. Mondays, it's time for tea. Because, you know, Mondays are hard for those of us that work a, a, a daily job. Time for tea. 
we need it on Mondays. Tuesday, snacks around the world. Lots of good stuff coming up on that. And then the Saturday vloggy thing. And then there's also other stuff tossed in here and there. So there's plenty of videos to choose from to leave a comment on. I would love it if you would. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. You could enter this contest and you never know what you're going to find. Also, hit that subscription bell. Let it notify you when I put out a video because the YouTubes are bad for not letting people know um, when a video is coming or when a video has been dropped. Oh, by the way, if you're looking at my little pin here, my little butterfly, that is something that the hubby got for me that I love to wear. It says on it, antisocial butterfly. Because that's me. Oh, and these here, these earrings, they look like little hanks of yarn, yeah? Um, technically, they're stitch markers, but these are made by Miss Elisa Ladybird Loves. And she makes these and she puts them on sterling silver lever backs. So I said, why not? They can go in the ear holes, all right? They can be worn. They're cute. You can get them custom made. She makes them. They're beautiful. Okay. Check her out. I will link her, if not up there, down below in the description. So you make sure you check her out and pick these up if you haven't already. Oh my gosh. They're beautiful and they're so... Okay. Y'all know I'm cheap or frugal, however you want to say it. They are so like not expensive at all. They're definitely worth more to me. I have multiple pair <laughs> that I wear for different things. And, uh, yeah, check them out. But yes, please put your guests below. Um, so we'll see who wins. And I'm going to let this run for just over two weeks. Okay. Um, I will pull and I'll put the date down below because I, you know, Dane Bramage, all right. I don't know what day it is. Uh, two weeks from tomorrow. So the winner will be pulled on a Sunday. And I will put closed across this video when I've done it so that you know, and then the video will go up. So there you go. Lots of stuff for you to do. Like, subscribe, enter, do all the things. Make sure you're crocheting or whatever craft you like to do. And uh, be careful if the weather is coming your way. See y'all very soon. Bye.